Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'd like to take you through part one of our high altitude balloon project. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, we've decided, myself and a few friends, we are going to send a balloon into space. More accurately, near space. And I'd like to involve all my subscribers and viewers in this task, in this project. Uh, at the end of April, coming up, uh, I believe it's April 21st, is the Stanford University Balloon Challenge. It's a uh, issued round the world challenge for people to simultaneously launch high altitude balloons. And uh, we're on a really tight time schedule between now and then to get this project complete but it's something I actually started some of the groundwork on some time ago. So this will be part one. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to ask anyone viewing this video, if, uh, if you would like to take part in this project, please reach out to me uh, on this channel. If you'd like to join the team in any way, um, any expertise you can offer or uh, items you may have. In particular, what I'm looking for now is uh, I'm looking for a backup GPS unit. I've reached out to spot GPS's uh, and asked them if they'd be interested in helping out with uh, one of the their I believe it's about $110 unit. Um, also looking for ballistics experts uh, for parachute work. I don't have a parachute made and I think I'm gonna have my hands full with the payload and the electronics so um, my other members on the team are uh, one of my best friends um, and uh, another great friend I have on the west coast, his name is John, we work for the same company. He's uh, an awful long way away from me, but his expertise will be valuable. So uh, we'll just get started and go through a couple of the items I have uh, gathered up on the bench here. So as, uh, as this is part one, we don't have a lot gathered up. This is going to be my primary recovery tracking. Uh, I'm going to send up an Android cell phone. I already have the application installed on the phone that I'll be using. I've been testing it and uh, in future videos I'm going to break these apart into each subsystem and post a video on each so you guys can uh, follow along and hopefully someone uh, downrange can get some help. But anyway, in, uh, in the U.S. it is indeed illegal to launch a cell phone um, and use it for tracking. Uh, I cannot find any restrictions in the Canadian law to that effect. So it looks like we're good to go. This will send uh, uh, text messages back uh, to uh, um, whatever recipients I, I desire with a uh, lat long and height and speed. Um, pretty basic, only good up to around 20,000 feet when you're going to lose coverage, but uh, again this is only going to be the recovery and then hopefully we'll get a spot unit or something as a redundant. This will be one of the cameras um, on board. This is a, a Canon, I believe it's 7.1 meg megapixel, I've had this for a few years, almost no use on it. I hacked it some time ago with the CHDK firmware, uh, I think about two years ago. I haven't really used it since, but it has an intervalometer, I said that right. Um, I can set it to take pictures every X seconds and it's built right into the SD card as a, as a firmware hack. So this will be sticking out and do some still images. What I'm really looking for, if, any, if anyone out there it has a line on an HD uh, video camera like a GoPro, uh, please reach out to me, uh, even if you have, uh, if you know someone who can help us out to sponsor with one, uh, it would be really, really awesome. Um, that's kind of cost prohibitive with the other expenses that I have coming up with this thing. But if you can help out, please let me know. Um, just send me a private message and comment below. Uh, love to hear from you. So we're going to... Uh, my plan is to use an Arduino as well as a standalone data logger with an SD card. I'm going to use a barometric pressure sensor. I have two different variants here. There's the Adafruit number on the one. This is a more coarse measurement. This one has, I think, been basically discontinued in favor of this uh, B BMP180 unit. Uh, quite a little tiny unit. 
has temperature and uh, and uh, barometric pressure monitoring on board. And then in here I have some other sensors, but one of which is the I always forget model numbers, and I don't even think I can read it. It's a, a three wire, uh, three terminal, which single wire uh, voltage or uh, temperature sensor. Uh, this is what I'll be using for the external temperature. I forget the temperature limit on the specs for uh, bottom bottom limit. Um, it's significantly not suitable for space for the upper stratosphere, but uh, I've seen other people use it and had good luck. Um, as usual, the specs on all of these don't won't work to the altitude that I'm looking for uh, according to the specs, but that's what their spec is. They do in fact read uh, well beyond, it's just the accuracy may not be nearly as good and is definitely not guaranteed. Then again, nothing's guaranteed with these Arduino components really. So that's it guys for today. That's part one. Like I said, I'll take you through each step of the build. I think I'll start with the data logger, the SD card first, and we'll start adding components at the same time. Once we get that built up, I can start and do some temperature uh, testing. Get this thing in the freezer and shock the heck out of it with free spray and make sure it's going to work. We're going to be working in minus 60 centigrade conditions up there. Uh, I already have heating arranged for it, and I'll show you that coming up for the electronic payload. Probably going to have to do uh, some testing on this camera and see whether two lithium batteries are going to get us the distance. I think we need about three and a half hours but otherwise I'm going to have to build a power supply for that. And same thing on the phone, I'm going to check out this tracking system. Basically everything needs to be tested and tested and tested again on the ground. This is no fun if we lose things up in the air. kind of takes all the fun out of it. Mainly we want the pictures. The Arduino stuff is just a bonus. And if you've got any ideas on any experiments you want to see at a, at a in near space, please let me know and we'll try and add them on board on the Arduino. We've got lots of room. We can log whatever data we want. If you have a sensor in mind, let me know. Anyway, if you want to be part of the team, guys, please let me know. Reach out. Uh, love to have you. Looking forward to it. Uh, don't have much time, but we're going to try and get it done. Thanks for watching.